In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get a list of Google shared drives by ID and name in Google Apps Scripts. Let's get cracking. So you probably already tried to use the Drive App class API to get a list of Google shared drive and discovered there's no way to do it because it isn't as of publishing this video. So what you actually have to do is use the Drive Advanced Service. To get to that, Go over to the left hand side here in the second sidebar menu and just click the plus button. And then you'll see a list of advanced Google services. Scroll down until you find the Drive API. Don't mix it up with the Drive Activity API. And click on it. And you can keep the identifier as Drive unless you've got some other identifier that's the same. And then all you have to do now is click on Add. And you know it's working because it's appeared on the left-hand side bar here as one of your new services. Once you have that, all you need to do to access the shared drives is a simple one-liner. So first, let's contain it in a variable and we'll go const equals shared drives. And then first we need to access the drive API, so drive. And then inside the Drive API is the Drives method, as you can see appearing here. So the Drives method will provide you with things like lists or getting a particular drive or setting particular drives. But what we're going to use is the lists or list method. And we can hit enter here and we could console log this. See what we get. So uh, shared drives. And make sure that's good. And we'll hit save. And let's change my function to something a bit more explicit. Let's call this get shared drives. Cool. And save control S and hit run and see what happens. So you can see the results down the bottom here. And it comes up with an object with two properties. The first one is items and the second one is kind. So in the kind property here, it's just telling you that the kind of object that this is, is a drive drive list object. So we don't really want to display that at all. So let's just narrow into the items. And we can do this by simply referencing items. And hit save. And let's log it now and see what happens. And now all we've got is our list of items here by ID, name, and kind. Uh, for all three of the shared drives that I own. Okay, so that's pretty helpful, but we probably don't even want this kind in each one of these. So let's be unkind and use map. And we'll say uh, drive. Well, dive. No, that's the way my humor is going. Let's go with drive. And we'll call a function, an arrow function here, do our braces and then curly braces for our object. And inside the object, we want our is it ID. And that's going to be drive.id. I want a comma. And then the next one is, I believe it's name. So we'll say name. And then drive, oh, dive, drive.name. And hit save and let's see how that goes. I'll give it a run, see if I made a mistake. Nope. Oh good. So now all that we have in our list is the uh, is an array of objects, and each object contains the ID and name for each of the shared documents. Okay, just quickly uh, how I've used this. I've used this in File Picker before, providing a list of access to the shared drives. Um, I've also used it uh, in web apps where the user uh, accesses the web, web app and then they can also access the shared drives from there and save and edit files within the shared drive. Okay, if you found that interesting, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.